Okay guys, we're here in the workshop here and uh, we are looking at my uh, FJ09 seat 2015. This is the stock seat and I've just taken it apart. I just, all I've done is, un is undone the staples so you can peel the material off. This is the foam material which is underneath. And there's your seat pan, FJ09. I don't know if this is the same as any others. I think an FZ has a flat seat so this is probably an FJ09 only deal. I mean, wow, my hands are dirty. My problem is, well, one of many problems, but my main problem with the seat is that I sit near the rear of the seat and uh, there's not enough cushion. I'll show you where it's hurting me. Obviously it's hurting me on my ass, but uh, the problem is, thanks Yamaha, you put that much foam. Compressed, that's down to like one millimeter of foam where, I, where my butt bone sits, right back here. That's not very nice. I don't have a huge ass, so uh, this hurts because I'm literally sitting on this hump. That hump is the problem, so this is what I want to get rid of. So, as you can see, I have some materials here. I've got some, uh, I've got the factory seat cover, but I've also got some marine vinyl I purchased the other day and pretty spiffy looking stuff from Fabricland. I also have this electric stapler, which is on sale at Canadian Tire. Maybe that could staple a new seat cover together. Now, here's my plan, as crazy as it is. I'm going to take foam that, uh, that doesn't absorb water, closed cell foam. This is some pretty dense stuff from, you probably guessed, exercise mats. I could buy a six, seven, eight hundred dollar seat for this thing, or I could spend 60 bucks. So we're going for the $60 fix here, which is why I call this the $60 $60 FJ09 seat fix. So step one, take it apart. Step two, have a sip. Today we're drinking Rainier. Quality beer, have a sip. Not too much of this won't work well. I've actually already pre-cut a few pieces that, uh, sorry for my camera mount here, it's, it's my hand, so uh, bear with me. Got a few small pieces I've just kind of done a rough cut on. And you'll get the idea here. I put down a base layer of foam just to uh, just to make things level. So this is not the highest point. We have nice foam, and I obviously don't sit way up here on the hump. So I'm only my really area of concern is just just back here. This is where I sit, right near the back of the seat. The middle we're just bringing up so it's level, so we don't have a stepped seat because that uh, 1980s look is not what I'm going for here. Cut the second piece. I'm just it needs trimming, but you'll get the idea. Now, right now, what I've done is I've I've actually sat on this seat for a couple minutes with this on it, and I still feel like there's a lot of pressure on my butt bone. Maybe I need to get a bigger butt, maybe I need to eat more food. I don't know. Maybe I should work out. There's a lot of maybes here. But uh, I have a solution to that. I'm putting in these two butt cheek implants, these pieces here and here. It's all kind of sandwiched together and then finally I put this on I've spent a good bit of time sitting on this I mean it's different on the floor it's, it's at the wrong angle and I'm not sitting on it for hours like on the motorbike but I know what the old one felt like and it was absolutely terrible I don't care what you say an FJ09 is the worst motorcycle seat I have ever sat on other than one with you know we're not sitting on just a metal pan so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some uh, spray glue and just set these in place. I'm going to trim them first, obviously. And then I'm going to make an attempt, and this could be interesting, uh, cutting a piece of material. I'm going to use this as a kind of a template. Uh, and I'm going to add, uh, I don't know, four inches all the way around, just for safety. And I'm going to trace that on in the new material. I'm going to cut out the material, and then we're going to start stapling it on. So exercise mat fix let's see if this works okay i've got my first layer down there's that base layer and i just put a bit of weight on it just to allow it to settle this is the glue i'm using you could use the uh any other brand of spray uh um, glue i'm sure just make sure it's compatible with the foam and doesn't eat the foam right away that would be a bad idea you get the 3m stuff and they've got a variety of numbers and stuff let this uh, gonna let this layer sit for a while. Ah, nothing like a clean sheet of fabric. 
In this case, this is the marine vinyl I've picked up. You can see it's got a little bit of a texture to it, so it doesn't look like total cheap garbage. It's a fairly good uh, string stuff in it, material stuff, I don't know what you want to call it. So, I've got my layers of seat. This is how I'm going to ride. So I've glued these on here. I actually want this to be a bit of a divot for all my important pieces and my butt. <laughs> no more comment needed there. And uh, it's going to be nice and soft in the middle there, right where I want it, right where it was sitting on plastic before. What I'm going to do is just spray this down in the old Elmer's spray adhesive. And I'm going to let that, that just kind of tack onto here. Not to, uh, not to glue this on, but just to keep it from squidging around under load when I'm doing stoppies and uh, wheelies and all sorts of fun stuff. Uh, so I'm going to soak that, spray that, then I'm going to flip it. And we're going to warm this up with uh, Susie's hair dryer. Thanks, Susie. She helps for all of our projects. So today we're using the uh, Vidal Sassoon. Oh, it's, this is the 1875. We're going to be using that later on high. Well, it's starting to take shape here. I've just got about six staples in, just kind of starting at the center of the seat, one at a time, and kind of crisscross, just like tightening a head gasket. I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm basing this on guessing and YouTube videos. <clears throat> now, the material cools off pretty quick, even if you throw it in the dryer or um, hair dryer. So what you got to do is kind of heat it up as you continue to go. Now, my seat does a little bit of a lip here, so that's going to be interesting to pull it. But as I'm pulling it, I know that it needs to be warmed up. So that's what we're going to do, get some of these wrinkles out. But the material itself looks like it's good quality, you know? It looks like a real motorcycle seat. This doesn't just look like something I picked up out of, uh, you know, the Walmart uh, kid's bike aisle. So uh, well, I think we're doing pretty good. So we're going to keep heating and keep stretching. This material does have a fair bit of stretch to it. And there we have it. Sweet. It actually worked out pretty well. Uh, a couple wrinkles at the back that nobody will ever see. And I'm okay with that. It's a little lumpy for now, but we'll see how it is once I put some uh, some ride time on it. It is nice and soft in the center here. And there's still extra protection on my butt. Right through here. And it gets soft in this section here, which is exactly what I was looking for. And here's the atrocity. Here's all my disgusting staples. So yeah, quite a challenge to get it stapled in certain areas like along these plastic ribs here and here. Um, also, this section here on both sides, very difficult to staple in place. You can see it's, uh, it's lacking in staples, but uh, it's the best I can do for now. So I'm going to bolt this on the bike and see how it looks. Well, it's on the dirty old bike. The, the bike's been sitting uncovered all winter in the shop here and I actually got a brand new cover ready to go, but I haven't wanted to put it on because I haven't washed the bike yet. It's pretty filthy. But anyway, my new seat is on. So once again, old pan, two layers of exercise pad foam. Remember I made the mistake, well, I'll tell you now I made a mistake. I made those two pieces that were like little palm shapes here. I should have extended those further into the corner because this side isn't as bad, but this one, this last little bit here kind of just drops off. You can really feel it. It's like a, well, it's like a drop off. But boy, this, before my biggest problem was that right here I could feel that plas the plastic nubs on the seat pan. Now I've got foam, so this might just be a win. It's probably time to go for a ride. Let's see if it even starts. Barely. She hasn't been started for a while. So that's it. Uh, I mean, we'll see how this goes. I'm probably going to end up buying a, a nicer seat eventually, but I thought I'd try doing a, a cheap fix. You know, there's no need for me to spend $600 if I could spend $40. That's what I've done, and I'll let you know how it goes.